Tonight, the two-day commutation hearing for the man asking for his life to be spared is over. Tabaron Honey now waits for the five-member board of pardons and parole to decide if he will die or if they will show him mercy. Jim Spiewak joining us live from outside the state prison tonight where the meetings have been held. Jim, the board heard for about uh, 10 hours of testimony over just the last two days. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And probably the most emotional piece of testimony came earlier today by the victim's daughter. She says that she has been waiting 26 years for this day and almost every single day she cries as she thinks about her mother who is gone. I can't pick up a phone and call her anymore. I can't wish her a happy birthday, her mother's day. The state laid out its case that Tabaron Honey has not done enough to overturn his sentence. Honey deserved death then, and nothing has changed. We ask that you deny commutation and let justice be served for Tabaron Honey. Honey had the last word during closing arguments. He said he is not asking to be let out of prison. Rather, he's asking for the chance to live in prison for the rest of his life. We are asking you to act as the jury Mr. Honey never had. And to show Mr. Honey mercy based upon who he is today, not who he was 25 years ago. Now, this five person board will take all of the evidence submitted and all the testimony from over the last two days and they will deliberate. They will give their decision. We are told in writing and it will be posted online. They did not give a time frame for when their decision will be made. So it could be any time, quite frankly. They did mention it could be this week, it could be next week. So that is something that we are waiting for. It will take a majority of the five person board to vote in favor of commuting his sentence. Otherwise, Honey will be executed as scheduled on August 8th. We're live outside the state prison tonight. Jim Spiewak, KUTV 2 News.